balancing uh, redox reactions in basic solution is really similar to balancing redox reactions in acidic solution and then adding one more fairly simple step. So to um, start, we're going to notice that here this has an oxidation state of plus 7 and this has an oxidation state of plus 4. So the oxidation state is reduced. So I'm going to start here by writing my reduction half reaction that the manganese, 4 oxygen, negative charge, reduced to manganese dioxide, There, maybe that's... Anyhow, so that's my reduction half reaction, and the oxidation half reaction then must be the CN negative going to CNO negative. So let's go through all the steps, all the things we have to do to balance this reaction. We're going to balance the oxygen by adding water. This will give me four oxygens on both sides of that half reaction. This then means we have to add hydrogen ions here to balance the hydrogen. And then we need to balance the charge. And we're going to balance the charge by adding three electrons. You'll notice here then that the three electrons, three minus, four plus, one minus, that gives us a zero charge on the left and there's a zero charge on the right so that matches. So let's go down to the oxidation half reaction and start by balancing the oxygen by adding water, balancing the hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions, and then balancing the charge. Now you've got to notice that the charge here is already one minus so our total charge here must be one minus when we are done. So how do we get 1 minus? Well, let's see. Did I skip anything? Something's not looking right. Aha. We had to add two hydrogens to balance. So get that coefficient right. So <clears throat> to get a negative charge here, on both sides of the equation. Here we have plus 2 and here we have minus 1 so we need two electrons to get minus 1 on both sides of the equation. Now we have minus 1 here and minus 1 here. So we've balanced the half reactions for charge and for mass. So the next thing we need to do is look at the number of electrons and see we have three electrons here and two here. Well, because these reactions are tied together, the number of electrons have to be the same in both reactions. So you remember, we're just going to multiply this and this by small whole numbers so that the electrons uh, end up being the same thing. So I think 6 is the least common multiple. So 2 times 3 is 6 electrons on the top, and 3 times 2 is 6 electrons on the bottom. So now we can see what um, is in our reaction. So 4 times 2 is 8 hydrogen ions. 2 MnO4 negative ions, 3 H2O ions, and 3 Cn minus 1 ions, producing 2. M, N, O, 2, and 4, H, 2, O, and 
n3 c n o minus and six hydrogen ions take a quick look at that does that look about right well let's see here if um, anything can cancel out so I can cancel out here all three of these waters change this to a one so one water right there and I have six hydrogens here that can cancel six of these so we'll change this eight to a two hydrogens anything else cancel I think that's about it now we can check this for charge balance and see that over here on this side we have I believe I just went through that and got a negative three and over here I see a minus three so the charges are balanced and the mass I would check to see two hydrogens on each side two manganese on each side eight oxygen on each side there's yeah eight oxygens so everything appears to be balanced but we are in a basic solution so in a basic solution we do not have hydrogen ions floating around we have hydroxide and so we're going to add enough hydroxide to neutralize those hydrogens so that actually combines to make two more waters but if we're going to add them there we've got to add them to this side as well so we're going to add the same number of hydroxides to this side so this makes two more waters and so one of those waters can cancel out this one so we're going to be left here with one water and two MnO4 minus and three Cn minus one producing two MnO2 plus three CnO minus and two OH minus now if we look at the charges we should have minus five on both sides and we should have the same number of each atom of each element great we're back